<laughs> Each year, Sammy Terry loves to share with the little nippers in your family a great classic Christmas tale. Was the fright before Christmas? Twas the fright before Christmas when all through the dungeon not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The traps were all set by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would step there. The fiends were nestled all snug in their beds, while nightmares of Sammy Terry danced in their heads. And George with his hatchet, and I with my axe, had just settled down for a little nightcap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang my, from my throne to see what was the splatter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and ripped through the sash. The moon on the breast of the blood-stained snow gave a hideous glow to objects below. When what to my wandering eye should appear, the watchman was dead with a knife in his ear. There on the lawn knelt a man rather thick, the blood on his coat told me he was St. Nick. More rapid than vultures, he sprang to his feet. The zombified Santa was hungry for meat. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, a legion of demons flew down from the sky. And up to the housetop, this evil took roost with red beady eyes and a long point tooth. And then, in a heartbeat, I heard on the roof the digging and pawing of each demon hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came, down with a growl. He was dressed all the hair of the dead he had skinned, and his clothes were bloodstained from both women and men. With a bundle of cutlery hung on his back, he grabbed for a knife and began his attack. His eyes, they stared right through me, his smile freaking scary. His nose was all wrinkled like an old rotten cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. He slashed at my leg and I fell to the floor. The leg he held tight in his teeth and the blood seeped from it to the white tile beneath. He had a cruel face and some blood in his beard. His expression was empty, for my life I now feared. He was ugly and evil, a sick little elf. And I knew things must change for George and myself. With my leg almost missing, my George surely dead. I pushed from the floor and kicked Nick in the head. He spoke not a word, but went straight on his back, and all the traps sprang just with a thunderous snap. Laying there writhing right where he fell, this Saint Nick passed right through the doorway of hell. The demons they vanished. My George was now safe. I sat there thinking, beginning to faint. But before I leave, I wish you tonight scary Christmas to all, and to all a good fright. <laughs>